A pleasant day to everyone. Today, let's continue with our review questions. This time, we have questions numbered from 61 to 80. The answers for the set of questions will be posted later, so watch out for our next upload. Number 61. The bivalve's organ for attachment is A. Siphon, B. Bisos, C. Mantle, and D. Foot. Can you guess the answer? If not, here is a picture. A. Siphon, B. Bisos, C. Mantle, and D. Foot. Number 62. The oldest part of a gastropod shell is A. Suture, B. Aperture, C. Apex, and D. Spire. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Suture, B. Aperture, C. Apex, and D. Spire. Number 63. The oldest part of a bivalve shell is A. Hinge teeth, B. Growth lines, C. Ligament, and D. Ombo. Can you guess the answer? If not, here is a picture. A. Hinge teeth, B. Growth lines, C. Ligament, and D. Ombo. Number 64. Which group has an operculum? A. Gastropods, B. Bivalves, C. Cephalopods, and D. Polyplacophorans. Can you guess the answer? If not, here is a picture of an operculum. Again, I'll read the question. Which group has an operculum? A. Gastropods, B. Bivalves, C. Cephalopods, and D. Polyplacophorans. Number 65. A thin organic coating or skin which is the outermost layer of the shell is called A. Periostracum, B. Nacreous, C. Ligament, and D. Operculum. Can you guess the answer? If not, here is a picture of a thin organic coating. Number 65. A thin organic coating or skin which is the outermost layer of the shell. A. Periostracum, B. Nacreous, C. Ligament, and the operculum. Number 66. This ligament made of elastic protein joins the two valves of the shell together. A. Hinge. B. Lip. C. Siphon. And D. Teeth. Can you guess the answer? If not, here is a picture. Number 67. These muscles hold the two valves closed. A. Adductor. B. Foot. C. Hinge. And D. Mantle. Can you guess the answer? If not, here is a picture. Number 68. This is the burrowing organ of bivalves. A. Foot. B. Retractor muscles. C. Gills. And D. Siphon. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Foot. B. Retractor muscles. C. Gills. And D. Siphon. Number 69. This is the locomotion organ of squids. A. Fins, B. Foot, C. Arms, and D. Mantle. Can you guess the answer? If not, here is a picture of a squid. Number 70. Their mantles contain zoosantillae. A. Scallops, B. Giant clumps, C. Cone snails, and D. Muscles. Can you guess the answer? If not, here's a picture of zoosantillae. Number 71. Which statement is incorrect about Scylla serrata? A. It is the most widely distributed species among the genus Scylla. B. Typically associated with mangroves in estuaries and sheltered coastal habitats. They are found in soft muddy bottoms where they dig deep burrows. 
C. Mature sa Lacerata, migrate offshore to spawn. And D. Only spawn during summer. Number 72. Which statement is incorrect about Sila Serrata? A. A single spawning may produce between 1 to 6 million eggs. B. The spermatophores that have been deposited by males during mating are retained by the female even after molting. C. One female can produce at least three batches of eggs with an interval of 41 to 46 days between the first and second spawning and 34 days between second and third spawning. And D. The zoya and megalopa feed on phytoplankton. Number 73. Which statement is incorrect about Sila serrata? A. Spawned eggs attached to the pleiopod hairs of the abdominal flop. B. Eggs hatch into zoya and pass through 10 zoyal stages, after which they become megalopa. C. The megalopa molt once and assume the appearance of a crab. And D. Crab instars to juveniles are found in estuaries, tidal flats, and mangroves where they undergo several molts before attaining full maturity. Number 74. Which statement is incorrect about Portunus pelagicus? A. Males colored with blue markings, females dull green. B. Inhabit sandy and sand muddy depths in shallow waters between 10 to 50 meters depth, including areas near reefs, mangroves, uh, seagrass, and algal beds. C. Juveniles most commonly occurring in interdidal shallower areas. And D. Age of maturity is around 2 years. 75. Which statement is incorrect about Macrobrachium rosenbergii? A. Inhabit tropical freshwater environments influenced by adjacent brackish water areas. B. They are often found in extremely clear waters. C. Gravid females migrate downstream into estuaries where eggs hatch as free-swimming larvae in brackish water. And D. Post larvae have benthic life cycle and begin to migrate upstream towards fresh water. 76. Which statement is incorrect about Rochea nilotica? A. They spawn with an approximate lunar periodicity. Spawning is most often observed within a few days of new moon. B. Spawning generally occurs in the early morning between 6 and 10 p.m. C. Under captive condition, behavioral changes before spawning include spending an increasing amount of their time at the waterline instead of near the bottom of the tank. D. Spawning may last for about 10 minutes to an hour in males and about 5 to 15 minutes in females. Number 77. Which bivalve has eyes and tentacles? A. Pectin maximus. B. Lofa cristagali, C. Anadara granosa, and D. Placona placenta. Can you guess the answer? If not, here's a picture of a bivalve with eyes and tentacles. Number 78. They are popularly called trepang. A. Sea slugs. B. Sea stars. C. Sea horses. And D. Sea cucumbers. Can you guess the answer? If not, here's a picture of trepang. Number 79. The most valuable species of mud crabs, A. Sila serrata, B. Sila truncibarica, C. Sila paramamusane, D. Sila olivacea, and E. All of the above. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures of the four species of mud crabs. Number 80 or the last number. This species is also called the invasive brackish water blue mussel. A. Maitila charoana, B. Modulus filipinarium, 
C. pernaviridis, and D. modiolus mitcalfi. Can you guess the species? If not, here's a picture of the invasive brackish water blue mussel. That's all for now. If you have some questions or suggestions, please write them down on the comment section below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this to your networks. See you soon!